Forza Motorsport 6 has been hailed as the king of racing games. With stunning visuals and top-notch gameplay, the game takes great strides to give you that immersed feeling. But what if you want to take it a step further? Why not add a steering wheel into the mix? I bring your attention to Logitech's G920 Driving Force Racing Wheel for the Xbox One and PC. The G920 is engineered to realistically simulate the feel of steering through turns and over surfaces. There is also the driving force shifter that you can add to your setup, though it does come separately. The G920 is specifically for Xbox One and PC, so PS4 folks will need to get the G29, but we'll get to that later. Now the wheel itself is a thing of beauty. You have this hand-stitched leather all across the wheel, anodized aluminum spokes, brushed stainless steel paddle shifters, and glass-filled nylon mounting clamps. The pedal unit has cold rolled steel frames and arms, brushed stainless steel pedal faces, and polyoxymethylene thermoplastic piston sleeves. With the driving force shifter, the knob is hand-stitched leather, the boot is also hand-stitched leather, the shaft is made out of steel, and the mounting clamps are also made from glass-filled nylon. This thing is definitely not a toy, it's hardware. Enough about how shiny it looks, let's get specs. It has dual motor force feedback with a Hall Effect sensor, single reduction helical gearing with anti-backlash to keep the wheel and pedals tight. Speaking of, the pedals are self-calibrating with textured heel grip, non-linear brake pedal, and a patented carpet grip system to keep your unit in place. Now, button layout is something that we definitely have to talk about. The G920 has nine mappable buttons, which is pretty good until you compare it to the G29, the PS4 version, which has 13 mappable buttons and a rotary dial. You feel a little cheated with this one, especially when you think about the G27 where it had 14 mappable buttons. Sure, the wheel looks sleeker, it's less cluttered, but there's not as much control. But now it's time to put this through the ringer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now you can really feel the resistance with this wheel. This is not something that's gonna go limp on you halfway through a race. This is gonna stay strong and sturdy. You can really turn with it, you can really fight for it, and it's not going to mess you up. Oh! Until you actually mess up. Now, while you can feel the power, you can also feel the gears turning. It's not particularly quiet every turn even when you're not turning, you can hear these gears turning back and forth. It feels good in your hands, but what about your wallet? Well, the wheel itself is about $400, and if you want the shifter, it will cost you another $50 or $60. However, this is almost necessary if you want a wheel for your Xbox One. Yes, you can buy the adapter for the G27, but with reports of small lag, this isn't an ideal solution. So now we're adding the G920 with the driving force shifter while playing Forza Motorsport 6. What are you doing? Psst. Driving. You're... You're not... You're, first of all, you're not using the clutch. I clutch. I'm clutching. You're I'm clutching, clutching the stick. And you're moving the stick without switching on the clutch. I don't know how to drive stick. Can I, can I do this part? Okay, okay. So yeah, the shifter feels pretty good. It definitely, uh, it doesn't have like that tactile feel that you would get from a car, clearly, because it's not a car. You would feel the transmission, but it still does feel awesome to be sitting here during this race and 
hitting an actual shifter. Now, granted, it is, if it's not for the faint of heart, and if you aren't a great stick driver, it's gonna take a lot get, uh, of getting used to. Um, even myself, I'm having some trouble with it, but you know, not many people here have driven stick shift in Belgium, on the streets of Belgium, in a race. And I uh, can't fault you for that. Oh wow, you totally can. Yeah, that's actually the gears. Yeah, wow. So overall, the stick feels pretty good. I mean, it does have the look of a, and sort of feel of a car, um, but it definitely lacks that sort of, I don't know how to explain it. I guess because it's not connected to an actual transmission, you don't get any of that feedback. And the stick doesn't have any, any feedback itself, obviously. Um, it is a, an ancillary device, but I would say if there are any negatives there, it would be that, but I think that's beyond what Logitech or anyone has done so far. So, uh, that's, that's, see, that's kind of stupid to call them out for that thing. So make your shifter feel like a real car. So if you're in the market for a racing wheel for your Xbox One, then Logitech's G920 racing wheel is a solid option with or without the shifter. Just pay no attention to the gears.